Hallelujah to Jesus. All the glory to God Almighty. This is the Believers Health.com. I remain yours, Dr. Gwingawe. I like to welcome you again to this channel. As we know, we talk to our health, taking advantage of the Word of God, taking advantage of the provisions of God also in nature via uh, diets, via natural herbs, and via the revelation of the truth of the Word of God. I want to say that for believers, it is important to see ourselves different from how others in the world see themselves. By the grace of God, this very message is titled, Jesus, our bunker of peace. There's an attached video to it, but i like us to take it, this introduction very important. In my about 20 years or 20 years of active involvement in the health intervention balance, using natural things and using the understanding of the word of God, I have seen that the strategy the devil always used and kept using or keep using is to sponsor you as an individual as the greatest source of your own problem. The devil, by his own corniness, seeks to trail your mind, culture your mind to a state where you yourself become the sponsor of your own doom. It gives you and feeds you with information, situational analysis that keep your mind worried or that gets your mind worried. When your mind is worried, when fear is set in and you lose your peace, I tell you the truth, everything begins to work opposite. Inside of you is the capacity both to laugh and to cry. And the ability to cry and to laugh is built by God into us. But you will only laugh or cry by your interpretation of a situation. God had said it clearly to you and me that for you as believers, no matter what you go through, if you are truly a believer who love God, even though the moment may look challenging, he said, all things are working together for your good. Moments may be challenging, but ultimate intention of God regarding you is your good. Trading with your peace, trading with your joy, is the devil's strategy to get you offset, to get you off balance, and to get you to lose your health. No matter what medical report may be in your hand, no matter what news you may hear, please don't trade off your peace. Jesus said, Peace I live with you. He said, My peace I give unto you. Can you ask yourself, what am I going through? If Jesus is going through this situation, will he lose his peace? Just ask yourself, will Jesus lose his peace? If Jesus will not, then my peace is in is his peace. His peace is my peace. So, if we get this picture, you will not be troubled. Say, let not your heart be troubled. What has not troubled Jesus should not trouble you. 
what has not caused Jesus to lose his peace should not make you lose your peace. Because the peace of Jesus is now your peace. Because he said, my peace I give unto you. Not as the word giveth, give I unto thee. I pray the Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' name. Please listen to this very short clip added and you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Again, Jesus is our bunker of peace. The Lord bless us greatly. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm sure that more connected, more important to our health is how you how we feed our minds and the bible says we will know the truth and the truth will make us free the truth that makes us free is coming only from the word of god and the lord bless us greatly in jesus mighty name be blessed as you listen to this uh, attached video god bless you how do i know that i am saved First of all, by the manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit. Matthew 7.20 says, By their fruits you shall know them. So the fruit of the Spirit is the validation of what is in us. If Christ is in us, then the fruit of the Spirit will come forth through us. I've been picking up some of the fruits of the Spirit since we began this series last Sunday. And we're going to look at two of them again today. Number one is peace that passes all knowledge. Peace. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, we have the fruit of the Spirit listed to us there. He said, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. So we're going to talk about peace. Philippians 4, verse 7. And the peace of God which passes all understanding will keep your mind and your heart. The peace of God. The peace of God. So there is a peace that passes understanding that is beyond comprehension. John 14, 27. Look at what Jesus said here. He said to us, he said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the word give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Peace I give unto you. My own peace is what I am making available to you. And this peace is not like the peace of the world. The peace of the world is conditional. The peace of the world is situational. But the peace of God is eternal. It never shakes. It is serene at all times. It is assured at all times. From today, no more shaking for you. I said no more shaking for you. I said no more shaking for you. You see, when Jesus comes into the life of a person, one of the things he does is to bring you and I into realms of peace. John chapter 16 and verse 33. Look at what Jesus said. John 16 and verse 33. He said, these things I've spoken unto you that in me you might have what? Peace. In the world there are tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I've shared this many times. I lived for some time in a part of the U.S. where they used to have continuous tornadoes. They call that, that axis Tornado Alley. Every year at a particular time, tornadoes will come. Tornado is a very strong circular wind. It will pick up vehicles. It can pick up houses, bring destruction everywhere. Very devastating. And when the tornado comes, they will blow an alarm. Usually, if there's a signal that the tornado will be coming to an area, an alarm will be blown. And when the alarm is blown, individuals try to find a safe place to be. And in many of those places, they have certain bunkers, very, you know, strong concrete structures that you can get into. And when you get in there, you wait until the tornado goes and then you can come out. And I remember some time ago, the alarm blew. I didn't know what was going on. I heard a loud sound. And I saw everybody moving towards the place. I said, what's happening? You know, if you don't know what is happening, it's better to just keep moving and be finding out as you are going. 
So I kept moving and I was finding out what's going on. They said, oh, it's a tornado that is, you know, there's a sound of a tornado possibly coming. So we went all into that place. And when the tornado is going on, devastation is everywhere. Vehicles are being picked up. Houses are being shattered. Lives are being lost. But something struck me when we got into that little, that bunker. Everybody was there having conversation. Some people were reading. Some individuals were playing games. Other people were chatting. It was as if they were not in the same place. They were in the same environment, but a different experience because they were inside a bunker. Listen, Jesus is our bunker of peace. When the world is going bonkers, you and I can enter our bunker. We can sit down in our concrete tower. Have you not heard? The name of the Lord is what? A strong tower. The righteous run in and they are safe. There is a kind of peace that surpasses understanding. There's a way you will live like you are not in the same environment. Jesus said, I pray not that you take them out of the world, but I pray that you keep them in the world. That is why they are in the world. They are not living like the world. When the heart of the world is failing them, your own heart is in safety. Your heart is in peace. Your heart is assured. Is somebody hearing what God is saying this morning? The peace that pass on. Now, why is that peace important? Because when that peace is in a place, God takes over the battle. The Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. You will hold your peace. Exodus 14 and verse 14. In Psalm chapter 46 and verse 10. I will be still and know that you are God. He said I will be and I will be exalted among the heathen. And I will be exalted in the earth. Be still and know and know that I'm God. A songwriter began to write. And he said when the thunder, when the sea rises and the thunders roar. He said I will, I will soar with you above the storms. He said, Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know that you are God. When God is invited by the peace of a man's heart, the storms of life are of no consequence. You see, the beauty of, the, of life is this. When an eagle is flying and there's a storm, the eagle does not complain about the rain. If you check it, when rain is falling, other birds find where to hide. But the eagle does not. Why? It goes above the storm. There is a place above the storm. You see, rain falls from the cloud. There is a place above the cloud that the eagle can climb to. That it will be still in the world but not living like it is in the world. That is where God seeks to take us to. But guess what? It takes peace in us to see the intervention of God. I see God intervening in somebody's matter. Yes. 